Hello everyone. On behalf of Cassandra and Joseph, I'd like to begin by welcoming everyone here today. I would also like to thank you all for sharing in this special occasion. I would also especially like to welcome Cassandra to her wedding day. <laughs> Cassie, the day has finally arrived. Indeed, Cassandra and Joseph are not only celebrating their love for themselves today, but also celebrating love between us all. That includes love of parents, siblings, family, extended family, best friends, and those who couldn't be with us today. Cassandra, it was six years ago, nine months, and 28 days ago that I made a little trip up to a friend's house on Skyline Drive in Fullerton. That night is one of, if not the most important evenings of my entire life, because that is where I met you, the love of my life. I tried to think about my life before I had you in it, and it honestly pains me. I couldn't imagine a world without you in it. That is why today is so important. It represents our bond, our strength, our hard work, and our commitment, and our internal, our internal love for one another. I look forward to growing old and wrinkly with you, <laughs> raising children, grandchildren, who knows, maybe even great-grandchildren. Cassandra, I vow to always be here for you, no matter what, through thick and thin, through trials and tribulations, no matter what this world throws at us, we will always prosper and get through it together. You are the most beautiful thing my eyes have ever seen. My heart is now yours forever. I know you'll take care of it and treat it well. I love you until the day I die, and even then, sometime more after that. I cannot wait to spend eternity with you in your love. My love, I believe everything happens for a reason. I thank God that I found you because not only are you my best friend, you're the one I can trust with all my heart. There are a multitude of ways to say I love you, but only one way to prove it, and that's through our actions. Mm -hmm. Time and time again, you've proven to me how much you love me. You've been and continue to be that person who's by my side. You're the strongest man I know. You let me vent, yet remind me with God anything is possible. We've been a team from the beginning, but our team has not been immune from adversity. However, it is this very adversity that strengthens our relationship and our bond. I mean, we survived living in a trailer during a pandemic. <laughs> while you put us at home. I promise you, all of the time, love, and care that you put in building our home for us, I will put that same time, love, and care into our marriage together. As we begin this next, cha next chapter in our lives together, I promise to support you in whatever new challenges come our way. I promise to be silly and laugh with you. I promise to reluctantly tolerate your comic book addiction. <laughs> I promise to remind you daily of how much I care and adore you. You are my person, and you will forever have my heart. I love you. Well, you done done me and you bet I felt it I 
tried to beat you, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. Now I'm trying to get back. Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving it my best. This and nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's again my turn to win some or learn some, but I won't hesitate no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. Joseph, before your family and friends as witnesses, you have pledged to be joined together in marriage. You have now sealed this pledge with your wedding rings. By the authority vested in me by the great state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Gentlemen, it is my honor to present the newly married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Gelati. No more, no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. Well, open up your mind and see like me. Pop up the pop up and dance. 